Water quality. Coastal water quality is very important for the health and safety of people and organisms. Furthermore, water quality changes the perception people have of a particular area. A beach with clean water has a better chance of people using it for recreation without worrying. However, beaches with poor water quality or that seem to be polluted present a risk to humans and will discourage people from buying food that was fished in or around the area. Nevertheless, it is important to acknowledge that a beach that seems clean could in fact be polluted. The water might be crystal clear, but this is not an indicator that they are safe and healthy. In some cases, these waters could be infected with a variety of bacteria and viruses associated with human or animal waste, which can cause health problems. This is a serious issue because it contaminates the seafood we eat, the water we drink, and it also affects recreational areas that are used for swimming, scuba diving, and surfing, among others. Water quality can be measured through a specific set of parameters, such as temperature, dissolved oxygen, biochemical oxygen demand, fecal coliform bacteria, nitrates, phosphates, pH, and turbidity. If you continuously measure these parameters, you may be able to identify any change in water quality on your chosen beach. You can perform this study through the following activities using a water quality monitoring kit. No particular brand is sponsored by the Sam Watch program. However, for the purpose of this video, measurements will be taken with a low-cost water monitoring kit. It is recommended that all Sandwatch members follow the instructions of the kit that they plan on using, since this may vary. Likewise, appropriate safety measures should be taken, such as the use of protective gloves at all times. Activity Measuring water quality. The number of tests that a water monitoring kit can complete is limited. As a result, it is important to design the monitoring schedule based on the amount of tests that can be processed. However, parameters such as the temperature and water turbidity can be measured without restraint because no specific chemicals are needed for these tests. The following materials are required for this activity. A clean bottle with a lid. Gloves. Procedure. Number one. After creating a proper schedule for the monitoring program, it is important that the water samples be collected appropriately for accurate results. Before you get to the beach, make sure that the bottle is clean. Number two. Once you reach the beach, remove the bottle's lid and using gloves, rinse it from two to three times with seawater. Number three, invert the bottle and immerse it in the water. Number four, fill the bottle up for 30 seconds. Number five, once it is full, put the lid back on while the bottle is still submerged and remove it from the water. Number six, Complete the required water quality tests following the instructions in your monitoring kit. Note, if you are unable to carry out these tests immediately, store the bottle in a container with ice for preservation and analyze the sample as soon as possible. One of the tests that you can do is the measurement of fecal coliform bacteria. We will show you how to complete this test. Activity how to measure fecal coliform bacteria. To identify if a body of water is contaminated by microbes, coliform bacteria is used as a bioindicator for fecal contamination. It is of the utmost importance to identify the presence of these bacteria because they are a hazard to human health. 
beaches are contaminated by fecal coliforms as a result of the incorrect disposal of wastewaters and runoff that originates in lands used for livestock production. In this activity, the presence of fecal coliforms will be determined. If a positive result is obtained, it is strongly recommended that you contact local environment and health agencies and inform them of your findings. You will need the following materials. Data sheet, pencils, clipboard, gloves, calibrated glass vial containing a 4880 coliform test tablet, comparative color chart, water sample. Procedure. Number one, pour the water sample into the calibrated vial up to the 10 milliliter mark and replace the cap. Hold the tube upright at all times, making sure that the tablet stays at the bottom. Number two, incubate the sample for 48 hours. Store it upright. Keep it in a place with a constant temperature between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit and out of direct sunlight. Do not move, shake, or touch the vial during this period. Number three, after 48 hours, Compare your results to the color chart and identify if the test was positive or negative. Number four, record your results. When the water comes into contact with the tablet inside the vial, a type of gel is produced. If the test is negative, the gel will remain at the bottom and the sample will be red or changed to jello and there will be no gas bubbles. However, in a positive test, the gel will float. The water will be cloudy and jello while having a lot of gas bubbles. It is very important to discard the sample according to the instructions given in your kit. Do not reuse the vial. You can also measure water nutrients. We will show you how in the next section. Activity, how to measure the concentration of nutrients in water. Water quality also depends on the concentration of nutrients. Even though marine organisms need organic and inorganic compounds to live, if their concentration is too high, problems in the environment may arise. Runoff and wastewaters can contribute to an increase in water nutrients. For example, excess phosphates and nitrates promote an accelerated growth of macro and microalgae. This growth lowers the amount of dissolved oxygen available, thus causing harm to marine organisms. In the next activity, the concentration of nitrates will be measured in seawater samples. Measuring nitrates. You will need the following materials. Data sheet, pencils, clipboard, gloves, 0106 vial, Nitrate Wide Range CTA Test Tab 3703A Cedar 106 FP Protective Sleeve Comparative Color Chart Water Sample Procedure Number 1. Fill the 0106 vial up to the 5 milliliter mark with the collected water sample. Number two, add one nitrate wide range CTA test tab 3703A. Number three, immediately slide the vial into the 0106 FP protective sleeve. Remember that these tablets are sensitive to UV light. The protective sleeve will shield the chemical reaction from UV light. If testing indoors, there is no need to use the protective sleeve. Number four, cap and invert the vial, mixing it for two minutes to disintegrate the tablet. Bits of material may remain on the sample. Number five, wait five minutes and remove the vial from the protective sleeve. Number six, compare the color of the sample to the comparative color chart and record the result as parts per million nitrate. By carrying out this activity, you will have a better comprehension of the water quality at a specific beach. 
The data obtained will help your group formulate ideas for the mitigation of water pollution. Continue with the other activities in the Sandwatch Manual and you will see how this project will help your community propose new alternatives for the improvement and conservation of marine and coastal resources.